Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to take a number and we're going to convert it to a Roman numeral. And we're going to do that as a SQL statement. I'm going to create a scalar function. Hope you enjoy this video. Let's create a scalar function to do conversion from number to Roman numeral. Notice I have one input variable, num, it's of type integer. I'm going to return, notice the s at the end returns a varchar 20. Then you say as. I normally put a little description in here because when I come back in three months, I'll forget what this thing did. Then I declare Roman numerals, a varchar 20, Roman, a varchar 2. My current number is going to be an integer. And then I'm going to initialize val to zero, initialize pos integer to zero. And notice on Roman numeral, I initialized it to empty string. Then I'm going to say set current number equals num. Remember, our variable that comes in is called at num. I'm going to set that to current num. I'm then going to create a temporary table that sits inside of this scalar function. It's called lookup. Declare at lookup as a table. We have three columns, a position, a value, and a Roman character. Let's just take a look at several. So at position zero, we have a value of 1000, and its value in numer Roman numerals is M. The next one is uh, position one, value 900, CM. I think you get it. So we have this those laid out. Then here's the meat of our program. Notice that we're just going to say, while at current number is greater than zero. Notice on line 42, I keep decrementing the current number by some kind of value that we get from the select statement. Stay inside this loop. I build Roman numeral. I decrement number. I increment position. And I stay in here until this number is zero. Let's do this. So first of all, I say uh, drop it because I could have created this before. And then I execute it. And then once I execute it, I can say select dbo dot the name of my scalar function. Let's do this. Execute and notice that we have a good value. Now let's do some unit tests and I'll show you how I do that. So here's a unit test where I have Roman numeral. I initialize it to empty string. And then I say num is 3500. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Roman numerals for 3500. Now if it equals MMMD, then it's correct. If it doesn't equal that, we've got an error. So execute this. And notice I say that is correct. Notice on our second test, we're going to do this year. Notice it's 2022. I'm going to run it through the same routine. Let's see how I did there. And then let's make sure that we can break this. I'm going to come up there and remove one of these values and do a test. This should come back as incorrect. And there it is. It's incorrect. And there you have a team. Numbers to Roman numerals. That's a pretty nice function. I also wrote this program in Python. You might want to compare the way Python to SQL goes down. Always be learning. That's what my motto is. Now, take this program. Don't copy and paste. Type this in, learn a few things, make some errors. Errors will make you better, I guarantee it. And then the practice makes the, I think I heard you, makes the master. That's right. Practice makes the master. Okay, team, that's the end of this video. Thanks for supporting my channel. And guess what? I will see you back in my next video. Have a great week.